Good morning, pigs. Day two at SEMA, I'm gonna be showing you what EV companies have coming out. We're gonna be trying to get interviews with, we're <laughs> distracted, you know how it is. We're gonna be doing interviews with people that work at the company, try to get like a one minute sales pitch on what they offer, that way I can expose you guys to different things that are coming out on the market. I hope you enjoy the video. So they have this whole electrified segment here. Take a walk through, see what we can find. They've even transformed like a GR, was it a GR86 that they transformed to a fully electric car. These right here are like arguably my favorite aftermarket wheels for a Model Y or Model 3. Crazy, this is a Model Y, it's lowered so much. So we're here with Lectron at booth 11,455. And I'm just gonna have a, just a quick sales pitch of, I'm not a sales, but just a pitch of yeah. what you guys do. I have one of theirs adapters. I'll have it linked in the description. What we do is we uh, manufacture charging stations, chargers, and adapters for any kind of EV. So we do Tesla, we do J1772. We make it easier for anybody to charge their car. Let anyone access any kind of charger. Right, so if you have a Tesla, you wanna go Electrify America or wherever, you can, exactly. yeah, yeah, you can have charging access anywhere you go. Exactly. So cool. Yeah, that's what we do. Cool. Yeah, so I'll have them linked down in the description and good seeing you guys here. Uh, this one would be the Electron V-Box in-home charging station. It charges up to 48 amps, fully adjustable on the back. Yeah, it's just an awesome in-home charging station, man. Uh, it can be hardwired. When you hardwire it, that's where you get that higher amperage, so you can go up to 48 there. Okay. If it's plugged into the NEMA 1450 outlet, you can get up to 40 amps. Okay, so yeah. still pretty solid. Yeah, exactly. People with different uh, circuit breakers, right, they don't want to overload the circuits. Able to adjust based on your own needs. J1772 vehicles, uh, however, if you get the adapter, right, we have the J1772 to Tesla adapter, uh, then you could charge a Tesla with it as well. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you for your time, we appreciate yeah, you it. Too, All right, so I have Brian here from Scalar Performance. We saw this 86 yesterday and we're just blown away. So I'm gonna have him kind of walk us around the car here, explain what's been done. I guess we'll just start with the battery. So it's a 68 kilowatt hour battery? 65, 65. yeah. 65. Yeah, so, okay. so it did start life as a 2022 GR86. Okay. Uh, now we're calling it the SCR1. This is uh, the first car that you can actually go race in NASA Super Touring. Wow. So the first all electric car that's approved for use in NASA Super Touring series across the country. This car, like I said, started life as a GR86. We put a 65 kilowatt battery in it. It starts here in the engine bay and it runs down the transmission tunnel of the car and into the, where the back seats and the gas tank would be. So that's how we kind of allocated the space for the, the batteries. And it was also important from a weight distribution perspective, right? Yeah. So we're gonna cut this section a little bit short. I'm gonna make that its own video so we can really dive into it. But moving forward, let's look at this Tesla Model 3 performance that they made. Now, after talking to Brian there, he took his Model 3 performance onto a track and said, after about five laps, the car was shot. It was overheating, the computers didn't want it to take a turn or anything. So like, unless you do this or do some really heavy aftermarket work, it's kind of restrictive to take it to the track. But again, another beautiful build. This is a Pikes Peak build. You can see even here the, the cooling that they have set up. It's, it's unbelievable what has been done to some of these cars to make them go fast. All right, so Lordstown, I haven't heard a lot from them in a while, but this is the 2023 Endurance. It says targeted, so you know not everything is quite done yet. 440 horsepower, battery type lithium ion with refrigerant, 109 kilowatt hour, 150 charging from DC fast, 200 mile range. Hey, at least they're reasonable about the range. I gotta say that a lot of these companies are like, our target's 600 miles. Like, we're, we're 10 years from making that happen, but it's Pretty cool to see this in person. As many orders as there are for the Cybertruck, I think these traditional looking trucks are over time gonna end up beating it. So it'll be interesting to see when it hits the market, but just another EV truck. So this is an ID4 drone command concept. So they're working with the Tennessee Valley Authority to have a remote setup. So when they're out in the field using drones like this, they have a, a workstation, they have a charging station, power station. And I do love on the ID4, 
just the lighting that comes across here. It looks really good at night. So the base vehicle here is a 2023 ID4 Pro S. Custom exterior equipment, roadside emergency lighting, side and rear mounted flood lighting, graphics package, Volkswagen accessory splash guards, wheels and tires are 18 by 8 inch ET45 diamond cut finish, five spoke wheels, 245-60-18s with all terrain tires, and H&R Track Plus wheel spacers. It also has the recovery boards and the fire extinguisher in the back, and then also the lighting is insane. So just another cool concept here at SEMA in the EV section. All right, so I'm here with Sam from Driven Performance. Let him do a little explanation of what you guys do. This is very cool because this is nationwide. I saw the camo Tesla, so you know, I, I, had, I was attracted to this. So Sam, I'll let you take it as exactly to what you guys do. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we actually feel that it's so important people when they get their Tesla to learn how to use it properly. It really doesn't cost a lot of money. They get together with an instructor, we call them advisors, locally one-on-one, -on -one, they get in the car with you, they show you all the workings, how to set up user interface, and we go from beginning, we have advanced, we have full self-driving, and now we're actually getting into racing. So we're putting together court, uh, racing days, and we're bringing a bunch of people together with uh, NASCAR professional instructors, and uh, teaching them really how to maneuver these vehicles the way they're maneuvered. There's so much power to it. Yeah. That, that is so interesting, because we're getting a whole new type of a person into racing now that yep. has never thought about racing before because they now have a vehicle that can truly get on the racetrack and give them that the that experience torque. yeah, yeah. No, and that's what's interesting about the tesla community is a lot of people who bought teslas were never into cars before right and then they i'm bought, one of them I'm, yeah and then all of a sudden you get in this car you're like this handles well it's really fast and it's efficient so it's really expanded the car community in a good way and i'm happy to see you guys are showing people how to use them on track yeah basically took a design that was in my head you know i'm in the military so i wanted to do something kind of patriotic with the, the camouflage look turquoise or tiffany blue it's part of our company colors, so I decided to do some of that, and then the full American flag across the roof. And oh, I, yeah. Yeah, so I got you know some of the patriotic flags flying and all that. Hey, it's so. made in USA. Yeah, you know, so you, got, you got it. You got to support America here. Yeah, so, yeah that's right. Try, try to you know just show off you know the basic attributes of a Tesla. So not only that, but to also show people that you can customize them, right? Yeah. So there's like a fear of like these electric vehicles you can't do stuff to. So yeah. it's the first Model Y in the in the world to have the Lambo doors. Sick. So uh, did amazing. the Lambo have the rear screen in the back, like the new Model Y and X are going to have. Wow. So I did the, the first uh, screen install. Oh, cool. And it has the for heated seats yeah, right I there. Yeah, I can control the thermostat, the, the heated seats, uh, rear entertainment for the you know the kids or the dogs, whoever yeah. you have back there. And look at, look at this here. Yeah, you can't get under there. That's it. Right on the carpet. Just dusting off the yeah, bottom just, of the you know, car. Just cleaning the car a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it has all the lights, did the rear lights. So. The other thing that a lot of people ask, anytime I put something, I've done suspension, I've done little things to mine, that won't void your warranty. The only way that they can void your warranty with a car is if it directly impacts something. So Correct. if I put sway bars on the car and there's a software issue, they're not connected. Yeah, no. So it, it, it's called the Magnuson Moss Act. Yes. I'm pretty sure is what Correct. that is. So if you guys look that up and read that information, don't be afraid to mod your Tesla. As long as you're doing it tastefully and you're using high quality products to put on it, I don't recommend putting junk on your car. Absolutely. So yeah, that, that's the important thing is like, you know, don't be, you don't, you never want to be the first person to buy something and try it, right? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, read reviews or talk to people in the community. I mean, that's why the Tesla clubs and stuff exist to help each other out. Yep. And, you know, it's like, hey, there's this new thing I'm looking at, like, oh, no, that's bad. But, you know, if you put good stuff on and you take care of it and, you know, I mean, I have two kids. If you look at my white yeah. leather, you would never know that. Perfect. But, you know, I know. You, you, gotta, you just got to keep Take your car clean. You know? Yeah. And anything you do, if you show it the care it deserves, then it's, it's going to do well. I try to educate them, go to car shows, go to a lot of like uh, school events and stuff, and try to you know, bring the younger generation in because, you know, fortunate or unfortunate, however you want to look at it, you know, this is the future yep. electric vehicle. So yeah. just trying to you know, show people the transitions a lot easier than the fear is. Yes, so. totally agree. And then do you guys have, is it an app? Yeah, it's a website. You, okay. um, it's, it's iPhone, uh, Android friendly, but uh, it's driven, D-R-I-V-Y-N okay. dot com. We're on Instagram, YouTube, all, all the, the standard cool. stuff. So you can so you find guys, us. Yeah. 
yeah, check them out there. And I, I think that's really cool what you guys are doing and beautiful model Y. All right, so this is really cool. I'm here with OG Arabian Prince, founder of NWA. One of the founding members of NWA. Most dangerous rap group in the world, by the way. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Driven performance, what is your guys' vision? Where are you looking to head over the next few years? Yeah, so with Driven Performance, we're trying to take it to that next level because Driven is about information, giving people knowledge and educating people about how to use and drive their Tesla. Mm -hmm. But Driven Performance is taking it, okay, let's take you to the track. Let's show you how to drive it in a more performance setting. And I'm not talking about just race car drivers, I'm talking about moms, pops, anybody with a Tesla that wants to get the best out of their car. You know, these cars are, as you know, super quick off the line, they're super fast, they're performance vehicles. So we need to get people safe. So we're actually taking them to the track, doing track events to show them how to use their cars. But at the same time, something that we just started is um, the Driven Dow, which we're gonna build the first ever carbon neutral racetrack solely for electric vehicles. Wow. And that's coming. So we're looking at Vegas for one of the first ones. And I just got back from Dubai. Ooh. And Dubai was like, hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. So we might do the first one there because cash flow is kind of limit, limited there. So. Yeah, they, they don't have a lot of money over in Dubai. And they got a lot of space. Right. So we could do something and turnkey it there, test it out, do it right, and then bring it to the U.S. So That's very cool. And and the other part of like performance driving, it's not just about performance driving. It's about being comfortable and in control yes. in an emergency situation. And safe, because these electric vehicles, not only Teslas, all of them, they are not regular cars, and people don't understand that. Yep. You know, you, they drive different, the tires are different on the Teslas, the compound, everything about them. So you really need to know how to drive these things differently in wet and dry situations, you know. And they're heavier. They're, yes, These yeah. things are so heavy. Signi yeah. So, you know, if you, if you do something and spin out or turn, it's not gonna act like a regular car, so right. you need to learn. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very Good much. Good meeting sir. you. Pleasure to meet you as well. Yeah, and if you guys need to check them out, follow them. It sounds like they have a lot of exciting things coming up. Yes, so we do. Have make sure you're following them on all the social media. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yesterday we dominated in golf. Today we're hooping. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm giving it a try. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, all right. oh my God. All right. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Dobbins, is it true that this is the competition? I don't think so. The number one thing that I'm most excited for at SEMA coming here is there is a suspension company that when you uh, hit bumps in the road and the suspension oscillates, it puts energy back into the battery. So that's what we're gonna go find next. All right, so this was the final piece of the puzzle. I saw an article on Car Buzz. We found Brittany here from Regenerative Power Systems. They have a suspension, it's, it's in development right now. Is that correct? It's in development, yeah. So anytime you hit a bump on the road, the simple version is anytime you hit a bump on the road, that compression will add energy back into the battery. But we have an example here that Brittany's gonna show us. So. Yeah, so these arms right here connect into your suspension system of the vehicle. And right now we've mounted it to handles so that you can kind of see what it does. But when you're going over bumps in the road, you're creating energy that is powering your vehicle. So this is supplemental to a typical EV, it's additional power. But you'll see here that we have counter rotation. So this lateral motion, we spin it in two directions. So if we only have 500 RPM here, we're generating 1000 RPM here and putting that back into the battery wow. of your vehicle. That's we, really cool. we actually have this mounted on a side by side back there if you guys want to see it oh, really? kind of on the product. Yeah, that'd be but really cool. yeah, so this is kind of what, do you want to try it? Yeah. So this would be like on a suspension, these arms would be the so double or we're These, these are not normally it. here. Okay. Yeah, it'll be helpful to see it back yeah. there, but this is what's connected to the suspension system. And then it's just kind of, you know, when you're going over those right. bumps. 
it's it's capturing that energy for That's you. That's cool. And so, is the is the end goal to get that into like a test like a consumer vehicle or is it for 18 wheelers or So the end goal here is we're working with ATVs so off-road vehicles that go over oh, lots okay. of terrain, right? And then even just passenger vehicles and semi trucks. So this can pick up even an eighth of an inch of movement. Wow. So even just those little tiny vibrations of the road are still going to be generating that energy for you. Awesome. That's very so, cool. Really yeah. innovative. Yeah. It, it is pretty cool. Yeah. So and it's called the Road Kill 5000. Kill meaning kilowatt. Oh. So you're getting kilowatts from the road. So cool. it's the Road Kill. <laughs> wow. That's really cool. Yeah. So anyway. we'll have to go check out the side by side. Yeah, I can walk you guys can, over yeah. there. Let's walk. Let's over. go on over. Okay, so this here is purely for show. This is not an electric side-by-side -side for now, but it just helps us kind of demonstrate what it looks like here. So you'll see how the arms are mounted to this suspension system so that when the vehicle is going over rough terrain, this will do what we kind of mimicked back there where it's moving up and down and then creating the, the rotational energy here that is a generator, puts it back into the battery to wow. extend the range of your vehicle. Wow. So. It's more for hybrid applications Yes. To keep that battery so you're not even having to plug it in? Not as frequently. Okay. So like I said, this is supplemental, so it, they work in tandem. So you know, when you're out on long drives or things like that, you're just putting more energy back into the battery um, so that you can extend the range. This is also cool for like semi trucks and stuff because they have their little, you know, the cabin where they've got their TV, their microwave and stuff. So this should generate enough power throughout the day that it can give them the energy that they need in the evenings for their for their living quarters wow. in the semi truck. So no, that's that's a really cool innovation. I wasn't even aware that it was for like ATVs and things like that. So yeah. it's very cool. Yeah, so we're we're excited about yeah. it. It's yeah. gonna do big things for EVs and kind of helping with the adoption of that just because everyone's a little worried about the range and right. stuff. So this is helping extend that range. Yeah. Very cool. Well, so. Brittany. Thank you for your time. Thank I'm happy you. We found you guys. Yes. Yeah. So check them out. What do you have? Instagram, I'm sure. Yeah. So we're stuff. Gig Performance. We're actually only on LinkedIn right now, and okay. we have a website. But stay tuned for more social media channels. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see another video of me here at SEMA, you can click this video right here. It'll kind of bring everything into perspective. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.